former champ Doheny confident of securing a date with the monster. Former IBF Super Bantamweight champion TJ Doheny is experiencing a resistance demonstrating that despite his advancing years, the 37-year-old remains a threat within the 122-pound, say it like Deontay Wilder, division. Doheny, 26 victories, 4 defeats with 20 knockouts, defeated Ryosuke Aiwasa to claim the IBF Super Bantamweight title in 2018 and successfully defended it once before suffering defeat in a unification attempt against the WBA title holder Daniel Romain in April of 2019. Before June last year, Doheny suffered defeats in three of his previous five fights following the loss to Romain in 2019, dropping decisions to Inut Baluta, Michael Collin, and Sam Goodman. The Australian-based Irishman has seen his last three contests take place in Japan, with each win coming inside the distance. The knockout streak has seen the former world champion defeat Kazazuki Nakajima on June 2023. His boxing record, we're talking about Kazuki Nakajima, 15 victories, 2 defeats, 1 draw with 12 knockouts. And Jatele Liamandu, October 2023, and Liamido his boxing record is 11 victories, one defeat with four knockouts. And last time of Brown Bioko, seven victories, one defeat, one draw with two knockouts, which featured on Noya Inouye's successful undisputed title defense against Luis Neri at the Tokyo Dome. Doheny's run of form has also seen him catapulted to number three in the WBO rating as he is rated ranked number 10 and 9 by the IBF and WBC respectively. I am very much in the mix right now, Doheny told irisboxing.com regarding his chances of securing an opportunity to face undisputed champion Noya Inoue. Especially according to Bob Arum's latest statement on Thursday in Perth, it's looking very likely that I will be the front runner in September with Sam Goodman coming sometime after that. End quote from Doheny. Goodman was ringside to witness Inoue's clinical title defense against Neri earlier this month, entering the ring to face off with Inoue post fight. Doheny believes the post-fight photo opportunity between Inoue and Goodman was nothing more than a PR exercise for the Australian to boost his profile in Japan ahead of an expected title opportunity either later this year or early in 2025. Goodman's team has stated they would prefer to go later in the year of the first fight of 2025, so I think that the call-out in the ring was a bit of machismo and was done more to raise Goodsman's profile over there in Japan than anything else. To be honest, honest, I wanted to jump in the ring, grab that mic and say my piece, but I kept it together. Doheny said, ladies and gentlemen, Doheny, Ty Doheny, he trying to get in there with the monster, Noya anyway. If they do fight, who y'all got in the comment section? Just let me know ASAP. Mario, talk to him and bring Luigi. Have a da good one. Cause we've been through some